In order to convert between moles and liters, or liters and moles, we need to know that one mole of a gas will occupy 22.4 liters. This only works for gases and at standard temperature and pressure, but in general chemistry that's mostly what we're going to deal with. So there are two methods to do this. Let's take a look at the first method. So if you're given moles and you want to find liters, you just multiply by 22.4 liters per mole. So for example, if we have 7.3 moles of oxygen gas, we're going to multiply that by 22.4 liters per mole. When we do that, the term moles will cancel out and we'll be left with 7.3 times 22.4 liters, which will give us 163.5 liters. And that'll be our final answer. So use the example we just did and press pause and try to solve this one. Here we're going from moles to liters, so we're going to multiply by 22.4 liters per mole. Moles will cancel out, and we'll be left with 1.4 times 22.4, which will give us 31.4 liters. When we're given liters and we want to find moles, we'll just do the reverse. In this case, we'll divide our liters by 22.4 liters per mole. So let's try that. Press pause and convert 44.8 liters to moles. So since we're going from liters to moles, instead of multiplying, we're going to divide by 22.4. When we divide, liters will actually cancel out and we'll be left with 2.0 moles. So let's try one more. Convert 3.4 liters of argon gas to moles. Press pause and give it a try. Again, we'll divide by 22.4 since we're going from liters to moles. Our liters will cancel out and we'll have 3.4 divided by 22.4 which will give us 0 0.15 moles. Note that for general chemistry, it really doesn't matter which gas we're dealing with here. We're always going to use the 22.4 liters per mole unit where either multiply or divide. In the next video, we'll take a look at a little bit more involved process called the factor label method. If you're going to be involved in science, medicine, engineering, you really want to learn to do it this way. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.